Boom, bada bing, look at that. Flinx for first enemy. Okay, sticking to him. That felt like one of the shortest I could do fights I've ever had. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the 1.4.1 summoner master mode we are here in the snow biome because we're trying to get the new stuff we're trying to get the flink stuff the flink stuff offers a new not only summon but a new armor set piece uh just one piece is fine i'll take it so uh let us get to work to finding some flinxes now flinxes have like a certain way they spawn so we have to take that into account i did bring a bunch of ice torches i probably should have got a blue candle but the only blue candle available to us is uh pretty pretty close to uh when skeletron or the dungeon guardian start spawning so uh i don't know it's a little scary but yeah flinxes they have a weird spawn rate they like don't spawn on snow or something like that uh and you have to like place stone blocks i don't know something like that somebody told me about it but we'll figure it out what the hell where's my summon at so once we see our first flinx then we'll uh we'll set up a little area and hopefully that works out i don't know I, I feel like we should just get deep underground first and then go from there yeah i have no no idea how many pieces we need it's a good bit of pieces uh flinks for i think they can drop up to three but i think they can also drop zero so that's very nice okay we got a snow chest i, I cannot see that arrow trap at all it's too dark but we got a snow chest oh Look at that. That's a great ranger weapon right there. You know what else is a great ranger weapon? Just bows. Oh, shit. Look. There's another snow chest. All right. What's popping in this one? Nice. See, I, I like the underground snow biome or ice biome. Because the loot. Oh, my God. There's another chest? The loot down here is just so good when you can find it. Nice. That's really good. Ice skates. Very, very nice for the future. All right. We got our first flink. I'm in the cavern layers of the uh, snow biome cavern, whatever. And boom, bada bing. Look at that. Flinks for a single piece. It's so fluffy. I would assume so. Oh, is that another one? No, that's... That's his dead body. Let me get some more of this platinum here because we do need platinum for the armor set and the summon. So might as well get my hands on some more because I don't know how much I have. But yeah, this seems to be like the sweet spot. Wow, I connected to another cave apparently that I used to be in. But look at this. This is the sweet spot. We still got the icy backgrounds, but we have stone and stuff everywhere. So we stay around here. I should probably like make a bunch of entrances to other areas of the cave. And we just pretty much farm enemies until flinks is spawn. And we go from there. I love farming as a summon it's amazing i'm already up to five it's been super easy finding them in this area okay i just saw one and he vanished where'd he go he's down here somewhere where'd he go bro this dude running look at him he heard me saying it was easy to find him and he's like all right i'm heading out but yeah it hasn't been too bad finding them i think the ice torches are definitely helping out in the drop rates too i haven't killed a single one and gotten zero even though i've heard people say they gotten zero maybe they were just wrong i don't know but it's been going good look at this we got the platinum right here too no this isn't too bad this is not too bad i thought that the flinxes being as rare as they were are or as niche as they are having like such a niche spawn rate that they'd be a little annoying to farm but this isn't too bad at all you, like this area is legit perfect we got the snow biomes i just legit move around and eventually some flinxes will spawn and this should be the final set of flinx for i need unless they both drop zero absolutely not boom bada bing we're good to go we got 19 now let's hope we have enough platinum lying around because i know i used some to make a uh, slime crown at the end of the last episode so let's hope that we have enough if not i might have to go platinum hunting boom we got a nice 13 bars that should be enough i hope uh i think i need silk to make the uh, flinks for cobra let me talk to my boy right here you got anything cool damn he's got a katana literally like every like other class but the one i'm playing has all the good stuff available to it uh it's all good it's all good i'll take that i'll sell you this i'll sell you this and do you want a bunny wearing a slime costume there you go you can have that too but yeah let's talk to the guide here give him the flinks fur so we need 10 platinum bars oh it's not looking good oh man of course not uh and then we need 10 silk okay so i do need to get my hands on some platinum that or just get my hands on some slush uh i don't think i'm gonna go here to find platinum i think i'm going right back to the snow biome because i definitely emptied out this area of platinum all right let us go ahead and finally craft this stuff let's start with that staff boom there's the staff and then let's start with the coat boom so we got the coat increases minion damage by five percent increases your max number of minions by one and then we get one defense with it 
And then we got the staff itself. A summon damage summons the snowflakes to fight for you. Uh, it is weaker than our slime staff, only because our slime staff has intense on it. But if it didn't have a reforge on it, then it would be better. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this stuff on. We are gonna lose defense because we're gonna we're gonna be losing 10 defense. Holy shit. Getting one defense. Nice. Uh, but there you go. There's that. I should take off this so we can see what it looks like. Okay, I kind of I kind of look weird with the helmet on. Boom, bada bing. There you go. Can you see it? Is there enough light? But there's that. And then let us see the flinks itself. Boom. Look at it. Beautiful. I've always wanted a flinks on my team. This thing's fucking huge. The little hoppy too. Look at him. He's got a little hop in his step. Come on. Ground units getting stuck in walls like usual. But uh, I guess let's go find something to kill and see it in uh, some actual action. Because I believe this thing is pretty damn good. Oh, look at that. I like, I like his little teleporting to us, how he spins around. Here we go. First enemy. Okay. Sticking to him. You like to see that any uh summon that can stick to an enemy like this is very nice oh dropped a shackle too maybe maybe this flinks is good luck maybe we'll see some rare drops of this flink but other than that it seems pretty good i kind of want to see it against some flying enemies though so if an eyeball can spawn in that would be uh, very very nice because you know i want to see what summon i'm gonna use on the uh eye cthulhu and i plan to fight the eye cthulhu this episode let me just make sure that like everything i have actually hmm, before we fight the eye cthulhu i think maybe we should try and just get our hands on a uh snap thorn is that what it's called don't remember but the the jungle whip Let, let's try and do that right now because that that would be some nice help in the uh eye cthulhu fight okay now this is a come up right here water walking boots this early i might actually be able to make terror spark boots without spending half of my life fishing for water walking boots that's that's insane i'm getting some good vibes from this uh master mode. get the fuck out of here die bro i'm getting some good vibes from this master mode run part two but i still don't have a double jump you think oh lucky horseshoe look at that this is our first time finding the uh new lucky horseshoe quote unquote new uh more new as in like it's just found in a different area this time than in the sky islands you know what speak about sky islands we got to get our hands on some fledgling some fledgling Fledgling wings is that what they're called because that, that's a new thing in 1.4.1 is that we could actually get those outside of journeys mode very very nice i gotta remember to do that all right let us go ahead and craft the snap thorn boom murderous okay i'll take the literally one extra damage but there you go our whip has been upgraded let's go ahead and retire this whip i legit don't have inventory space but yeah there's that uh now i guess we just get ready for a i cthulhu fight and hope for the best we're gonna have three summons if we use a uh, summon potion because we are getting extra summon from the fur coat which is probably one of the best things about the fur coat is having an extra summon you know we did lose our defense but we're getting the extra summon in return uh, plus some damage so we're gonna have three and these guys they can actually kill some flying things they kind of just like ride on top of the flying thing and bounce off of them over and over again doing more damage uh, i should get ready here instead of just talking because it's about to be nighttime so let's get to it okay nice we have a blood moon the night we're fighting the eye that's cool i guess <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't interrupt us much. I'm actually kind of upset that we're getting a blood moon now because I kind of wanted a blood moon when I wasn't going to be busy fighting something because that would have meant I'm able to set up to try and get the uh, frog. But I guess, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We've already had enough good RNG, so let, let's just deal with it. We're doing great damage so far, like amazing damage. Let me get rid of all these uh, other enemies. I'm still very upset that Relogic hasn't implemented something to stop other enemies from spawning during a boss fight kind of really annoying uh it's all good though this fight is going great i've barely taken damage uh hopefully that i don't just start taking damage all of a sudden because i said that is usually how it goes though but if i could stay like on the top layer you know that that'll help out our summons a lot because they, they won't have to worry about like platforms and stuff so i'm gonna do my best to stay up here but look at them they're like latching on they're they're going to where the eye is they aren't getting stuck and i bring up uh land summons or with our ground summons being stuck up being stuck a lot because they do get stuck a lot but like at 1.4 they kind of like change up the ai and they rarely get stuck and it's looking good it's looking good these dudes are actually doing work maybe they're just good summons that was super easy like we have to run that back that was way too easy like that felt like one of the shortest i cthulhu fights i've ever had and this is only the second episode in we only got 22 defense I, that's actually quite a lot but we only got like 20 defense and we did work like that maybe it's just we get we got like the best of the best actually i feel like we can get way better stuff right now but since i'm taking my time and grabbing everything 
you know, we, we got some decent stuff still, but it could be better, I think. I don't know, maybe getting the snap thorn was like legit probably the best idea. Because it is this is a tag uh, damage whip, which is really good. But yeah, after this, I, I don't know if we're going to have enough time. I guess I could just set one up for the future, but I will set up a uh, little blood moon fishing arena for the future. I need to just set up a bunch of more houses. I need to get pylons and stuff going so I can actually get around the world, start up some fishing quests and stuff like that. Because I do need a mount. I do even need a mount. Because I don't even have, I don't even have a slime mount. I wasn't even, I was unfortunate enough to get a slime mount. It's all good. We'll either get the bunny or the flamingo. I heard the flamingo got nerfed. Or, or I heard, I read it. Oh, but I don't know if I included it in that patch note video. But the flamingo got nerfed. I don't remember what the nerf was, but uh, my, my poor flamingo, my favorite amount of 1.4. <laughs> How could they nerf you like that? You hate to see it. All right, but there you go. That's done. Now, if only I had supersonic speed and I can make it all the way to the other side of the world, I could fish, but I don't. So we're not going to worry about it. We're going to pop open these bags, though. I should probably go store the gold right away. But I can also make a better fishing hook. Very nice. And then we also got the Shield of Cthulhu, which I'll probably definitely use. And we got some aviators. Who doesn't love some aviators? But yeah, I think that's going to end off this episode. We got everything I wanted to get done in this episode. And uh, the next couple of things we're going to get done. And I'm posting this episode before a Calamity episode because I'm trying to get some uh, stuff worked out for the Calamity episode. Some sponsor stuff worked out and then I can post the Calamity episode. Uh, which, there you go, there's a hint. The next Calamity episode is sponsored. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Next episode, we're going to try and get our hands on the uh, Vampire blood frog staff whatever the hell the thing's called and then we might go for our next armor set after we kill the brain aka the obsidian armor set because that's easier to get our hands on than the uh, b set for obvious reasons we got to kill the b to get the b set but the obsidian armor set we don't have to kill anything to get well actually the brain but uh the brain's easier to kill than the b obviously so that's gonna be the plan is to get our hands on that that apparently is a whip oriented set uh so that's very cool very interesting that they added that in but i'm just happy that they added in new armor in general so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed follow my twitch i'll see you next time